action flicks, space adventures, and long overdue animated sequels. This month certainly delivered the goods. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 trailers of February 2018. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've ranked the best film, TV, and video game trailers, released throughout the month of February. Number 10, A Quiet Place. John Krasinski is many things, a talented comedic actor, a masterful prankster, and, upon occasion, a director. With A Quiet Place, however, arguably his most high-profile directorial gig to date, people might start paying more attention to his work behind the camera. Proving that the horror genre is far from tapped out when it comes to original ideas, the film stars Krasinski himself and his wife Emily Blunt, and focuses on a family who are forced to live in silence to evade a supernatural predator which hunts based on sound. With a trailer this tense and atmospheric, A Quiet Place is set to be a must-watch for horror fans. Number 9, Castle Rock. What brings you home? I got a call from Shawshank. Call from who? Don't know yet. The Dark Tower film adaptation was largely a disappointment, but Castle Rock might just make up for it by delivering a sort of detail-oriented, deep dive into the interconnected works of Stephen King that fans have long been dreaming of. Castle Rock is the name of a fictional main town that King has used as the setting for numerous novels, novellas, and short stories, and has mentioned in countless others. In this Hulu series, overseen by culturally omnipresent executive producer J.J. Abrams, we're not getting a direct adaptation of Stephen King's work, but rather a story set within his universe that will touch upon many of his stories. I think that something terrible is going to happen. Number 8, Skyscraper. Not only have you brought them all indoors, but you've trapped them 240 floors in the air. No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. But I'm just a glorified security guard, so what the hell do I know anyway? In recent years, flexing his impressive physique and magnetic personality, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has delivered one box office success after another, and in 2018, he's showing no signs of slowing down. The second trailer for Rampage suggests that it might just be able to break the video game adaptation curse, while Skyscraper offers up a classic blockbuster film premise with a unique angle. Johnson plays Will Sawyer, an ex-FBI agent whose career cost him a leg. But when the action heats up in a burning building, having a prosthetic limb doesn't appear to slow him down one bit. This trailer promises a film that is both thrilling and inspiring. Number 7, Jessica Jones. Third glass tonight. Put it on my tab. You drinking to remember or forget? Giving a shit won't get you a better tip. She's back. In 2015, Netflix introduced its second Marvel series, and with it, one of the most badass, believably complex female leads in recent television history. After a critically acclaimed first season, and a more uneven crossover in The Defenders, everyone's favorite hard-drinking, super-powered private eye is back and facing her demons. The first season was hailed for willing to address dark subject matter, and based on this trailer for season two, it looks like Jessica is daring to go even further into the trauma of her past to uncover the truth. Clear your calendar, because you're definitely gonna wanna binge watch this one. What did they do to us? Number six, Mission Impossible, Fallout. The end you always feared is coming. And the blood will be on your hands. Dwayne Johnson might be the reigning king of blockbuster action film, but Tom Cruise is the genre's longest tenured and hardest working leading man. The dude's in his mid-50s and, well, just look at him go in this trailer. Director Christopher McQuarrie and Cruise, along with plenty of familiar faces, are back to deliver another pulse-pounding, larger-than-life spy thriller. High stakes, interpersonal drama, bone-crunching fights, and glorious action set pieces. What more could you ask for? Oh, and as a bonus, we get to see Henry Cavill's mustache that had to be edited out of Justice League. This is a mission you should definitely choose to accept. What the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. Number 5, Kingdom Hearts 3. Konnichiwa. Ore wa sora da yo. Kimi wa ningen wo mite mo heiki nan da ne. Like Wazasuke. This isn't our first look at Kingdom Hearts 3, but it's certainly one of our best. And though this gaming franchise might not be the biggest in terms of units sold, it has, without a doubt, one of the most dedicated, enthusiastic, and ravenous fan base in the gaming world. So to say that the release of this trailer at the D23 Expo Japan was a big deal would be a serious understatement. We travel with our heroes to the worlds of Monsters, Inc. and Tangled, 
while also getting to see some intense, high-flying gameplay involving Buzz and Woody from Toy Story. Though Kingdom Hearts 3 was long in the making, it seems it'll be well worth the wait. <laughs> Number 4, Westworld. Look at this world. This beautiful world. Though this western-themed amusement park might seem like a dream destination to some, given the goings-on in this trailer, you're probably best sticking with a trip to Disneyland. In Season 2 of Westworld, the ish appears to have really hit the fan. Narrated by Dolores, and set to a reimagined version of Kanye West's Runaway, the trailer walks us through the beauty of Westworld's artifice, before pulling back the curtain and diving deep into a fantasy of tearing it down and reducing it to ash. It's moving, terrifying, and hauntingly beautiful. From the ashes, build a new world. Our world. Number 3, Incredibles 2. Superheroes are illegal. We want to fight bad guys. I use the bad guys. It defines who I am. We're not saying you have... What? Someone on TV said it. Listen, we loved the little teaser in which we got to see Jack-Jack's newly developed powers, but honestly, it really just made us even more desperate to get some details about this long gestating sequel. Thankfully, this second sneak peek, released in honor of the Olympics, successfully scratches our Incredibles itch, and boy is it ever satisfying. We see Elastigirl getting back into the spandex while Mr. Incredible faces what is seemingly his greatest challenge yet, being the parent who stays at home to take care of the kids. Chock full of laughs and brimming with heart, this teaser is everything fans were craving. Done properly, parenting is a heroic act. <laughs> Done properly. <laughs> Number 2, Solo, A Star Wars Story. I was kicked out of the flight academy for having a mind of my own. We get it, you're nervous. Who wouldn't be, considering this mid-production director swap and the countless rumors of onset problems, including whispers of a lead actor who needed a drama coach. But take a look at this long overdue trailer for Solo A Star Wars Story, and try to tell us you're not at least a little bit hopeful. Solo doesn't look half-baked, it looks like a film with great set design, awe-inspiring effects, cool creature design, a unique tone, and just a whole lot of potential. Okay, Alden Ehrenreich's acting remains a question mark, but this trailer has given us plenty to feel a new hope about. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Whoever finds the victim wins the grand prize. The keys to the stingray. Just the keys? No, Ryan, the whole car. Oh, yeah! Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Number one, Deadpool 2. What's the most pain you've ever felt? Maybe the kind that leaves you more machine than man. Wait, no, stop! What in the actual ass? Meet Cable, the brooding, time-traveling mutant and frequent comic book partner to Deadpool. He's played by Josh Brolin, who looks as if he's being ripped straight from the pages of the source material. In this trailer, we not only get a perfect introduction to Deadpool's buddy, but we also get some of that trademark Deadpool humor and masterful super trolling. After a hilarious cheap shot at Justice League, Deadpool does some arts and crafts for us, plays with toys, and then, with the help of some friends, delivers a full buffet of action and laughs. Clearly, writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick saved plenty of material for the sequel. Your time's up, you dumb f Well. That's just lazy writing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.